Hey everybody, welcome back after spring break. I hope you all had a chance to relax and get some free time, maybe even have some fun. Um, this week we're going to be doing three different flip grids, all dealing with the classroom environment and dealing with what you saw doing your observation when you were out in the field. This first flip grid is really going to deal with that classroom environment and most of you should be noticing that it hasn't really changed a ton in terms of what you see when you enter a classroom. Um, those classrooms that you are seeing look very similar to the classrooms that I probably had growing up and the classrooms that most people had growing up. We do see more technology, we see more air conditioners, but even the clothing, if you notice, makes its way back around. As the videos you watch this week, though, demonstrate to you, we now know more about how students learn, what truly makes them grow in the classroom and that knowledge now is forcing that educational community to really rethink the practice of what a classroom environment looks like. We may not always be able to change the building but we can change what goes on inside. So consider now the observation that you conducted in one of your classrooms. How does the learning environment that you observed foster student learning? And I want you to identify three ways that you saw in that classroom how the classroom environment you observed is similar to or different than the ones that the videos portray. Really think about what you're seeing in those videos and really concentrate on what you actually saw while you were out observing. Again, I want you to identify three ways that the classroom environment you observed is similar to or different than the ones that the videos portray to you.